Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez. We got siblings in the house, okay? We're about to find out what makes that deep-rooted rivalry between those you grow up with. I'm an only child, so I don't know anything about this. But the people on the couch, they sure do. And they also work with each other. Ooh, we gonna get into this mess, honey. Let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a Nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, let's meet our siblings, shall we? We've got JoJo. Hey. And if you can't tell, her sister, Wo. <laughs> okay, are y'all twins? We are twins. Okay, if y'all weren't twins, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> We've got Carla mm -hmm. and her brother, JC. Now, are y'all twins? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> the disdain. Each other. All right, I said earlier I'm an only child, so I know nothing about having a sibling and what that is like. A lot of people say it's something very, very special, and you really want to have more than one kid because you want them to have that camaraderie growing up, somebody in their corner. I know nothing about it. So, what was it like growing up? <laughs> I mean, how else would you say it with siblings? I grew up by myself is what I'm saying. It was fun having like a, a look-alike growing up with me, someone like my best friend, um, always there, same age, wore the same clothes, so. I just felt like it was just one person. Yeah. We were one person anyway. That's yeah. how I felt. Really? So yeah. it wasn't like, oh, I'm with my twin and I gotta wear the same outfit again with them. We're matching <laughs> all the time. Mom's got us dressing the same it way. Was like it was like normal. We thought dressing Dress alike was normal. So when we didn't dress alike, that, was th that wasn't Normal. So why y'all wearing different fits? Because my oh, mom dresses a little dresses alike. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> now we're over it. Now we're over it. Just like her. Again. But y'all still similar, matching yeah, yeah, the similar. suede shoes, mm -hmm. the, the neutral tones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Carla and uh, JC, how'd y'all feel? Um, I think the uh, feeling's pretty mutual. I think um, we we had a pretty good uh, growing up together. I think it's pretty rare to have a relationship like we had up, uh, kind of had each other's back growing up. So I think having you have somebody there immediately like to have your back on you know those things that you're trying to get away with <laughs> well y'all well, mischievous together it, oh. yeah. <laughs> so, you would get yeah. in trouble yeah she yeah would take, so, she would take the fall <laughs> yeah all right yeah. so tell me how you actually feel then carla uh, i mean no it was really fun having an older brother i mean we're pretty close in age sometimes people thought that i was always older mm. um but I mean, our parents always kind of raised us like, it's just y'all. Like at the end, you know, like, how, why are y'all gonna argue and not talk for a, a bunch of years? So it's like, it's kind of when I hear like, people that are like, I haven't talked to my brother in like two years, I'm like, yeah, I talked to him two minutes ago. Like, <laughs> no way 20 minutes yeah, gonna pass. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> wow, y'all have great stories. There ain't no mess going on here. <laughs> All right, are you guys your only siblings or do you guys have other siblings? Yeah, it's just it's us just, two, actually. Just y'all two. Mm -hmm. Wow, so y'all ride or die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and what about y'all? Just y'all two? We have other siblings. So we have uh, a little brother. Okay. He's 16. <gasps> yeah, yeah. My, my heart. Aww. And then uh, we have uh, two, two other sisters. sisters by my dad. Yeah. All right, so there's got to be some rivalry there or something. <laughs> <laughs> Are people like trying to infiltrate the, si the, the twins in your family at all? Like, oh, they can't. There's no possible way that I they can do that. They don't try, though. But they don't like, try. They understand the bond. We're like roommates. I know. Yeah, like. <laughs> That's so the cheesiest break you to think. We're roommates. Roommates? <laughs> yes. Roommates? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So no rivalry or, or any tension with other siblings? No, no not, not with other siblings. No. Just us. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So y'all do have a rivalry of sorts. Well, Did y'all ever compete in, against on anything? Well, I don't know if we compete, but we're twins, so it's different. I think you compete a little bit with me. Oh, but it's okay. It's coming out. It's I coming let her out. Have Let's it. sit back. She relax. thinks she's the Beyonce of the group, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'll let her have it. All right, come on. And what are your thoughts on this? I just think <laughs> she'll say, "Hey, Joe, um, I need you to do this, 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 this." And I'm gonna sit back in the background, but then when I don't do it right, <laughs> she gets mad at me. So Whatever. I don't get it. I, I really don't understand. But do you understand yeah. what she's saying? Well, I understand what she's saying, but it's, do it agree? doesn't go down like that always. <laughs> oh, okay. So how it does it go down it then? Say, for instance, we were writing a song, and I'm the songwriter. I mean, she writes too, but yeah. I write the songs, right? Mm. And if I write a song, and she'll be like, "Well, let me look over it," and she'll try to change it and then change it again and change it again, and then she'll try to sing the entire song by herself. <laughs> so that's what I mean about the Is Beyonce. That accurate? <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Silence <laughs> is golden. It is golden. All right, so did y'all ever fight about any pettiness? I, I think the, I think probably the most, the most, like, noticeable thing for me is, like, she probably won't say it. I mean, I probably won't, I don't say it because it's favorable, favorable to me because my mom will treat me a certain way. Like, when I go visit, like, she, like, puts pillows behind me and comes and brings me my food to the table. She's like, what, what about me? She's like, what? you don't treat me like that when I'm here. She'll do, like, a pedicure and stuff for him. And I'm just like, <laughs> I got to pay for your pedicure. Like, how do I? Yeah, like, my parents spoil him a lot. But, I mean, mm -hmm. we never, I mean, I think we fought more in the sense of, like, we watched wrestling when we were little. So we would, like, physically, like, try to, like, body slam each other and stuff. But nice. Yeah, so now, like, any boyfriend she has, like, she's like, Yo. Wow. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, yeah. For the most part, any, anybody that I've dated, I'm like, I, I can probably beat you up. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and do you like turn to him like, hey, I'm dating this guy. Like, what are your thoughts on him? Do you ask him for feedback? Uh, I mean, sometimes. I mean, even as like when I was younger, he's the one that taught me how to date because. I mean, it, oh, everything I was, I'm doing, don't, don't yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally, like, sometimes he would be like, look at what I'm making this smart girl do, and then oh, I was, like, oh. kind of nerdy, so he would just be like, <laughs> <He's embarrassed>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, one of my exes told me that when he was talking to me initially, like, he was like, I feel like I'm talking to my homeboy, like, I don't, I don't feel like we're dating, and I was like, oh, my bad. That's <laughs> just who I am, yeah. growing up with my brother. Yeah, but he taught me how to date, so yeah. I guess that's... I mean, I also try to not, I'll stay out of, stay out of her, like, date life, because... I mean, we are in, in the industry, we are in the nightlife, so, like, she dated somebody that was, like, super deep in the industry with us and, like, ended up, like, she was like, are you dating him or are you dating me? Because he would end up, like, being at my events. And yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm glad you brought this up because y'all work together, all right? So coming up next, I'm going to ask them about what it's like working together because business and family, they say don't mix it, but these siblings do. <laughs> you stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about siblings. I'm an only child. I don't know nothing about it. But these people, they get along just swimmingly. All right, we got JoJo and Mo. We've got Carla and JC. All right, you brought it up, JC, that you guys work in the same industry and work with each other often. What exactly do y'all do? So I do event pr uh, graphic design primarily and then event production secondary. So like, um, I produce a lot of the events for uh, local brands. Well, when brands are trying to reach the community, reach the city, I produce a lot of those. And then in between there, she has her own thing going on. So she and her events end up kind of like intermingling or we kind of like are able to cross promote um, some, a lot of our events that we do. So it's mm -hmm. anything from you know, markets all the way to uh, nightlife uh, parties and all that. Gotcha. All right, so what's that like working with each other? Because I feel like you got to leave the personal shit out of it and keep it professional. But it's yeah, hard when you know somebody very well. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of easy. I think the hard part is knowing each other's flaws as well, just because, like, I sometimes it's like I know he could either, like, be ignoring me, and I'm just like, I know you're ignoring me. <laughs> like, <laughs> respond to me. This is about something serious. <laughs> but... Um, even like when once we're there, like we always put emotions aside, you know, like it's we never yeah. try to get it, it in I always, the middle. I always tell everybody I said when I'm on production mode, I said don't don't take offense to it. If I'm yelling at you or if I like so if I tell you something or like some smart ass comment, like, hey, like it's production mode. After that, like we can get all go get drinks and we'll have fun and forget about like it's the work mode and friendship and family is second, you know, like Right. <laughs> But I feel like that might be hard to gulp, right? Like, especially if you're like on business and you're like, no, I need this <laughs> right now. <Yeah. laughs> and like, how dare you talk to me that way? I'm family. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but even then, like, I mean, he's not going to send me like on an ice run or anything, yeah. but, yeah. I, but also if he did, like, I would probably go, but I would <laughs> be like, but, <laughs> but I have, yeah. But, but also it's like, I would probably bring it up to him later, like, you were kind of an asshole earlier, <laughs> right, right. Right. But, but not, you know, I would never take it personally. But yeah, sometimes, I mean, he does get in this mode where, like, he's, like, very, very serious, and I'm just like, I can't make you look bad in front of people, but then when we're back at home, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> and that's good on you. Yeah. I feel like most people wouldn't gulp that ego and just be like, you ain't going to talk to me like that. That ain't happening today. Just start bringing Bro. up personal issues, too. Like, I'm going to take out your laundry. Yeah. <laughs> you remember back in fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, and you alluded early earlier, Woe, that you guys are 
singers, we yes, are songwriters. Singers. Yeah, we're musicians. Yeah. Musicians. Yes. <laughs> and y'all were on the voice. I mean, y'all. Y'all are known. <laughs> so what's that dynamic like? Wow. Because it's a creative space. Yes, yeah. very creative. I say we're really, really good when it comes to like working together musically because she does most of the songwriting. I We play keys, guitar, and drums. So I'll come up with melody on the keys. Mm. So I'm usually the one that comes up with melody. She has the words. And then <laughs> we come together and create songs. Really, really good. She knows. I know her strengths. She knows mine. But... <laughs> we will argue through it. We, we argue through we argue the best song. Yeah, we argue through it. Like, yeah. Because we're, I'm, I'm like, whoa, that word, blue lips, does, does, not, sound, does not sound good in the song. <laughs> blue lips? <laughs> I never said blue lips. I don't know what she's talking about. Blue about. lips does not go in the song. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to hear this song now. Blue lips. What makes you get blue lips? That is funny. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, um, we, keep it, we keep it behind the scenes as well. So if we're waiting to go on stage, and we have an issue with one another, we'll just like fuss it out like right before we go on stage. But when then, we get on stage, it's like we are in sync. Yeah. We're together. Sometimes so. I'll look at it, we'll have that look. Nobody else will know that look though. We'll just look at each other. And then we'll get past it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, felt, I felt it in this moment just now. Though. I'm like, are they about to squabble right here? <laughs> Obviously, you guys are so in tune with each other as being twins and always getting along. So was it weird having that dynamic when you decided to take this musical route? Mm -hmm. of like, oh, we have some tension here. We do have some sort of disagreement and I'm not always right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that, um, you know, growing up as twins, we've always had that battle of what's my identity? Mm -hmm. Because I've all, my identity has, has always been linked connected, to, her, connected yeah. to hers. So if I did something that didn't meet her expectations or she felt like she, it was what we should do together, she would get upset. Mm. And so it and was vice versa. Yeah, vice yeah. versa. I'll say with me too. No, come on. So, <laughs> so it was, it's always been hard to break and then do our be our own people, mm. but then come together and work together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I think that's probably so that's why the we yeah. well, where we butt heads. All right. So yeah. I'm gonna ask um, a messy question because <laughs> you brought up Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce was part of Destiny's Child. Okay. I and then Beyonce that. broke out. <laughs> so have y'all discussed Ooh. potentially? So One yeah. of y'all, I mean, we've seen it with Chloe and how. I know, I know. So I'm going to just ask the question and ask <laughs> y'all oh, if uh, y'all have discussed this and how would you feel? About <laughs> us going our separate way. Like, she, we've discussed it. <laughs> I don't know in singing, but she discussed it because she wants to do, like, break off into, like, acting. Mm. I do. Yeah. yeah, so. I think that I'm a, a better actor than my sister. <laughs> like, I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> She didn't get that <laughs> talent, but, uh, <laughs> but I, wanna, I want to um, break you know, off. Break so off we discussed that. that. We've never discussed breaking off into solo albums. And? Is that going to be possible? How would you feel? Um, a guy once, a producer, wanted to do a song with my sister. It was just him and her. Yeah, I remember that. And I felt some type of way. Like, I think I went home and cried. Like, you I was did? like, how can you leave me out of this song? Like, I can do like a background or something, <laughs> but he just totally left me out, so. And it I just thought it was so hurt. Still, it stung. Yeah, it stung. Yeah. I thought it was special that he was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was okay. I, was okay. <laughs> I thought it was cool, because it was kind of cool hearing me do something on my own. Mm -hmm. But I love doing it with my sister. You know, that, I think she <laughs> she enhances what I have and vice versa. So I think we're stronger together. Stronger together. Yeah. All right. Well, we're about to play a game. So <laughs> oh, y'all sit tight because coming up next, we're going to see who is most likely. You stay right there. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been having some fun with these siblings, talking love and rivalry, and everything seems to be so swimmingly with y'all. But you know what? It's time for Game Night! Night. Oh, that's right. We're going to play a little game of who's most likely to. So, who's most likely to be forgetful? Me. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, was I supposed to answer? Yes. <laughs> Definitely me. Why? I just forget everything. Oh, I think, did, she, did you mean in that way? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant forgetful, like people forget you. Oh, oh, oh. that's forgettable. Oh my God, <laughs> but why would I ask that? You forgettable, are messy. not forgettable. <laughs> Whoa, you messy. Oh, you messy. Oh my God. 
She messy. I'm sorry. I was like, oh, she real messy. Why do you feel like that? I was like, did I do anything wrong? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carla, Jason. Both of us, honestly. Yeah. Pretty horrible. Yeah. We're pretty bad, yeah. All right. Who's most likely to throw a fit over something little? Whoa. JoJo. I think me. I think me. Yeah. She's pretty, like, Mellow till like oh. she doesn't really get like like we're both petty but I think you're pettier. <laughs> yeah. I'll be funny. petty over time. Just, like, if, it's, if it gets under my skin enough, and even if it's like that small, like, I'll be like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, who is most likely to be messy? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say something. Me. Me. I'm right there calling her. Hey, what'd they say? <laughs> oh, hold up! Okay, <laughs> gossipy. I'm messy as in cluttered, uh, but I like oh, that. See, I was wondering how y'all oh, were gonna okay. take it. Gotcha. Yeah, I took it that way. Gotcha. Gotcha. You better choose me. You messy. messy. I could be messy. <laughs> exactly. It's, sometimes right. it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, well, Jo. Jojo's messy. Oh. What kind of messy? You know what? She's small. This, this is no, this is what does that mean? That means uh gossip. Like, uh, you like oh, the gossip. No, like she, she, no, she's messy like I'm that. I'm not messy like that. You're <laughs> <laughs> how do you I'm like, how did you find that picture? How do you know? Well she's she's yeah. messy. No, she thinks that. She she's she calls me messy, but the crazy thing is I'll set the be on the floor, right? And she'll be like, Joe, this is where we're living together. Like, Joe, pick it up. And she'll get on me about everything. And then she'll put something in a microwave, it explodes all over the microwave, <laughs> but it's still in there. She's complaining about the something on the floor. <laughs> all right. Well, thank y'all so much for coming Good on night. and talking about, you know, your love for one another. <laughs> Should I have had a sibling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they said I need to stop looking in the mirror and playing staring contests. All right, but listen, you guys teased that y'all are uh, singers, and y'all got a new single. We, we do. do. Y'all down to perform? Yeah. All right, Absolutely. listen, coming up next, we got JoJo and Woe performing their new single, so you stay right there. We'll be right back with the show. <laughs> All right, we're done talking. It's time for the singing, baby. Okay, you guys said you were singers, JoJo and Woe. Yes, we are. And so I, I want to see the performance. Yay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But people I know at home are going to be like, oh, this is good. I need to follow them. <laughs> Where do they go? Yeah, so you can follow us at JoJo and Woe. Yes. J-O-J-O-A-N-D-W-O. -O. Yes, on all streaming platforms, actually. Yeah, so uh, you can get our new single, Come Back to Me, on Spotify, Apple Music, yes. everywhere. And that's where you're performing right now. Yeah, that's yes, where you're performing, performing right now. Come I love it, me. I love it. All right, well, cheers to you at home. You stick around and listen to these music. Come Back to Me by JoJo and Will. Take it away, ladies. Thank you. Come back to me.